July and August are often the busiest months to travel, because lots of people are starting their holiday and spread out into the world. Therefore, it's hard to decide where to go, even though possibilities are as broad as they can get. Warm weather and blooming nature makes July and August a perfect time to visit certain countries. In this video, we want to present to you our top 7 places to visit in July and August, trying to avoid the standard summer destinations such as Greece and Italy. Number 1. Peru The most iconic and famous site of Peru is definitely the Machu Picchu, part of the UNESCO World Heritage, with over half a million visitors a year. Nor is July the perfect time to travel to Lima, the capital, neither for a beach holiday due to chilly temperatures. Although Arequipa, Cusco and the region around Machu Picchu have the perfect temperature for city exploring and hiking. The average day temperature in these places is around 20 degrees Celsius during July and August with little rain. The country is best explored by train or with a super comfortable coach. You can find more information about our suggested companies in the description link below. To reach Machu Picchu, you first have to fly to Cusco. From there, the best option is to book a train ride to Aguas Calientes, which takes about 3 hours, and then take the bus to the top. Consider planning enough time for your travel and book your tickets beforehand. Something very unique is the desert oasis Huacachina, located in the south of the country, which you should absolutely not miss seeing. Number 2. Montenegro Montenegro is one of the most underrated places in Europe, although really worth traveling to. Kotor, the main tourist hotspot, has a stunning view over the bay and if there weren't any cruise ships, there would be almost no tourism. You can find a nice bazaar and some opulent churches in the charming old town or have a delicious seafood dinner, everything for cheap price. The average day temperature in the summer months is around 30 degrees Celsius, perfect for having a swim or getting a nice tan at the Mediterranean beaches the country has to offer. Being a rather small country, it's really easy to get around, either by renting a car or a scooter. In the north, you can have an awesome hike with stunning views in the National Park of Dormitor or visit the Tara Canyon, where you can take a ride on a zipline. Going down south, at the border to Albania, you must not miss the beautiful Lake Skadar. Number 3. Zanzibar, Tanzania Zanzibar, a beautiful island in the Indian Ocean with endless white beaches and crystal clear waters, is known to be a rather budget-friendly travel destination and a good place to go snorkeling. The best place to stay is definitely the east coast, anywhere between Jambiani and Pingue. As the island belongs to the country of Tanzania, the population is mainly Muslim. For that reason and by law, you need to dress respectfully in public, such as covering shoulders and knees. Although it is no problem to wear swimsuits and bikinis at the beach or in your hotel. Zanzibar is a place you can truly disconnect and have a relaxing holiday. Stone Town, the capital, provides a lot of shops, nice restaurants and local markets. July and August are the best months to travel due to dry season and an average day temperature of 29 degrees Celsius. Number 4. Flores, Indonesia The most known island of Indonesia is definitely Bali, although the country has so many more beautiful islands to discover. Flores, an island group in the eastern half of Indonesia, is best explored with a local cruise ship doing an island hopping starting from Labuan Bajo. In Flores, you can either visit a local village, hike up to the viewpoint of Padar Island or relax on its either white, black or pink sand beaches. Flores is also home to the Komodo dragon, the last living species of lizards and the only place you can encounter them in the wild. Although it's better to keep your distance, as the bite can kill a human within hours. Of course you should not miss the opportunity to go diving or snorkeling in the blue waters. Maybe you can encounter some sea turtles or friendly manta rays. The average day temperature in Flores is around 30 degrees Celsius, with less than 5 days of rain during each month. Number 5. Norway The best time to visit Norway is not only in winter for experiencing the northern lights, also the summer has a lot of flair. You can experience the midnight sun until the end of July, meaning that the sun is shining for almost 24 hours a day, especially in Tromsø, one of the northernmost cities. Although, consider visiting the Lofoten Islands, a picturesque archipelago, 
best reach by plane, or you can go fishing, hiking, kayaking, horseback riding and even diving would be an option. The small red houses offer the perfect opportunity to practice your photography skills too. Consider booking a cruise ship, taking you through the majestic fjords of the country and then head down to Oslo to visit the city and the various museums. The average temperature in Oslo in July, which is also the warmest month, is around 22 degrees Celsius during the day. On the other hand, Tromsø has an average day temperature of 16 degrees Celsius. Number 6. Cornwall, England Cornwall, a county in the southwest of England, is known for its wild moorland, blue sea and soft pale sand. Especially from July to August, it is worth a visit due to temperatures average around 20 degrees Celsius during the day. To reach Cornwall, consider flying to London or Bristol first and from there you can take either a local flight or the train. If you feel comfortable with driving on the left-hand side, the easiest way to get around is by car. Just rent one and start exploring the beautiful Lenhide Rock House and Garden, an impressive manor, just a 50-minute drive away from Playmouth. In the south, you can find St. Michael's Mount, an island with a medieval castle and church that reminds of the Mont Saint-Michel in France. St. Michael's Mount can be reached by ferrying during high tide or over a small dam when the tide is low. For beach lovers, Fistrill Beach offers the perfect opportunity to relax in the sun for a day or two. The beach is located near the small town of St. Eve's, which is already a site in itself. You should also visit the towns of Polperro and Forway and discover these traditional fishing villages. All in all, the region is perfect for a road trip and for families with children. You will really get surprised by the numerous sites Cornwall has to offer. Number 7. Provence, France From July to August, the French Provence in the south colors up with lavender. The day temperatures in these months reach almost 30 degrees Celsius, while the lavender fields are blooming to their fullest. They can mostly be found in Haute Provence, a department slightly north of the gorgeous city of Nice. This beach town impresses with the stunning seaside scenery and historical buildings. As known as Nice is the city of Marseille, the undiscovered jewel of France's Mediterranean coastline. This city is the perfect starting point for exploring the region of Provence. You can get to both Nice and Marseille easily by plane. Marvel the countless sites within Marseille, first and foremost the Basilica Notre Dame de la Garde. Located hilltop, this spectacular church is the most important landmark in Marseille and offers a breathtaking view over the city. To explore more of the region, rent out a car and drive down the amazingly beautiful French Riviera to visit also Saint-Tropez and Cannes and head back all the way to Nice. Alternatively, take the other route and experience the as beautiful blue coast that runs from Marseille along to the town of Martigues. 